the ball, I don't pass till I'm gone. I can laugh when I'm off. I'm not a prophet, I'm getting profits. This is that God shit. You wanna be flossing, then you gonna trip off your losses. Young bullshit. Spend the whole bag on my baby. What's good, YouTube? I am back. I do got a lot of bad news. Um, we got rid of all the K swap stuff. I had to get rid of it. Um, we actually have to get rid of this whole car, so I kind of want to start by getting rid of the K-Swap stuff. Um, the reason I had to get rid of it is for one, I, uh, I'm i about to go overseas for a little bit. Uh, you know, I am in the military, so they got me going overseas for a little bit, so I won't have time to enjoy the car. So I kind of want to sell all the K-Stuff, get it off. That way I can um, get this car gone. Probably gonna put the whole Subaru motor back on it or I might sell it as a roller, we don't know yet. So I kinda got rid of all that K stuff except for like the turbo, waste gate and the blow up valve and all the gauges. I'm kinda gonna keep those because we also did go and buy a BMW E36 M3 from my boy Connor. So we got that as well. Um, we're gonna probably just boost that and uh, send that. And I know a lot of people are going to be asking me, like, why get rid of a project to get another project? Bro, this project right here was headaches. I kid you not. It was a problem after problem after problem after problem. If y'all see from the old videos, I kept having problems with this build. Like, it was it was bad. Like, it got to the point where I was just like, I couldn't do it anymore. So I was like, I uh, had just sat there, was thinking about it. And I was like, let me just get rid of all this stuff. And to put this car back to Subi, sell it, and make more money selling it than doing all that, man. Because it, it was nerve-wracking. That's why I kind of, like, disappeared for a long time. Because I was like, I, I had to really sit down and have a conversation with myself. Like, should I keep this car or should I get rid of it? But, like I said, I might keep the car, but I got rid of all the other stuff. Or I might sell the car as a roller or put the Subi back into it. But... We'll figure it out. Right now, I'm just going to let it chill in the garage. Let it sit here as, without a motor and just keep the trans in. Um, but I'm going to take that down pipe. That's probably going to go on that car now. I'm going to modify it and put it on that uh, BMW. But as you can see, the garage is empty. The Camaro has gone. The Camaro is not sold. It's just at the shop. <laughs> so the Camaro is at the shop. Um... I actually put a new motor into it, put the turbo kit all onto it, and we need a tune on it. So that's literally all the Camaro needs, just the tune. Um, it did have a little misfire when I first started it up. We got it fixed out. Uh, so right now the Camaro is currently sitting at the shop. I am selling the Camaro for, uh, I want 20000 for it because it's a built motor and uh, new diff and all that. So I want 20000 for it, but... If somebody still happened to walk up with 17 and just give me 17, I, I'll probably let it go. I, I just need to get rid of stuff because, like I said, I am about to be leaving overseas for an extended amount of time. So by the time I get back, I, that the, the BMW I'm probably going to boost before um, I even leave. I got most of the parts already here. I'm still waiting on a couple more parts for that. But, uh, yeah, guys, so that's the reason why. I stopped the K Sop Swap Honda Roo. So that's the reason why. Uh, it was just nerve wracking, bro. There's a lot of custom modifications that had to go to it. And that, that, that was annoying as well. Like stuff, if you if it's not made for the car, it's it, it's harder, man. Like the motor mounts was just really hard to take out compared to like any other motor mounts. Like that one was like the hardest to install and take out. Like I had to fight with the car so much. Uh, the oil, like the Honda motor was just like too high up where all the oil was like sushing to the back away from the oil pump. So I just, I, I didn't want to deal with that, man. Like blow a motor just cause that, no, I didn't feel like dealing with that. But other than that, man, like I said, I got this Beamer. Oh, I should take you guys and show y'all. Got this brand new, well, it's not brand new, but a 1999 M3. E36 needs a little work. I got most parts coming for this car as well. Like I said, it's on coilovers. All the rear suspension has been done. 
I mean, uh, trailer arms and all that has been done. Stock motor though, that's the only thing is stock motor. It's fairly decently clean. So, yeah, everything's basically stock. Oh, man, Connor put a like a three thousand um, dollar sound system in that car. Doesn't have subs, but all the speakers on the inside are very nice. Where it doesn't need subs, so yeah man so that's pretty much it i'm just gonna boost that car and start the videos for that car instead i just i just wanted something that's lightweight fun and not a swap man i'm done with swaps at this point like if i do want if i do any more swaps it's gonna be an ls swap that's gonna be the last swap i do just one more ls swap and i don't know what i'm gonna swap it into so right now i'm about to enjoy the inline six with boost I'm gonna enjoy that while I can. I'm about to clean my garage out. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, it's, it's nothing I really got for you guys. It was just, I just wanted to show you guys why I got rid of all the Honda stuff. Cause everybody's been asking online of why I got rid of it. And that's pretty much it. So I catch y'all later. I'm gonna make another video uh, on the Beamer. I'll make another video here soon, but yeah sad but it happens man life happens so catch y'all later peace